Hi guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and this is day two of 100 days of Kegel. And in this uh, day, I have covered a competition. Uh, basically, I am just getting started uh, with the Kegel competition. So, if you go to the competition tab, here you will get an option for the uh, starter uh, competition or the for the newbies or new kegglers whatever you uh, call it uh, so here it is getting started and if I just uh, scroll here uh, this is the competition which I covered today and uh, this was the competition in the day one uh, which is the previous video so the uh, uh, the objective of this competition was spaceship titanic uh, it was like uh, we have to predict which uh, passengers were transported into a different dimension uh, like uh, the uh, scenario it was describing that it is year 2912 and a uh, spaceship uh, named titanic just like uh, the ship titanic uh, is going to is traveling somewhere in the space and it crashed into a mist a big uh, like a dust cloud right so uh, like some uh, passengers were transported to an alternate dimension in order to save it right or uh, maybe save it or uh, I, I don't know uh, like uh, what's the story behind it but uh, like some are uh, transported and some are not so that's the case for now and uh, so if we see the data set uh, we got train.csv, test.csv and the sample submission and in the sample submission if I can show you here yeah so in the sample submission we have data and yeah so we have to get a passenger id and then uh, the uh, corresponded transported value whether it is false or true right so the passenger is uh, transported or not to an alternate dimension here i am loading the data set and you can see the data set here in a pandas data frame then we are doing the exploratory data analysis eda I'm uh, just uh, printing the column names as a list, then getting the shape of the data frame, uh, data type of every column. Basically, we got some categorical variables and some uh, numerical variables. So we have to deal accordingly. Then I'm going to check for the missing values. Uh, in every column, uh, I have some missing values that I have to deal with. So the next uh, thing is data preprocessing here. I'm just gonna uh, do handle the uh, missing values first so you can see the uh, I'm just uh, Like filling it out with the mean of uh, numerical columns and mode of uh, Categorical columns uh, because uh, it's just starting out. So that's like uh, appropriate for like a beginner or what you can say a newbie right and so in the columns I am just uh, uh, like uh, choosing the uh, features as uh, let me just show you here uh, features are home planet uh, cry of sleep or whatever it is destination like i am ignoring the cabin because it has many like uh, different values and it's not gonna uh, affect much into my prediction at the last and name obviously i am ignoring it and the passenger id i am ignoring it uh, ignoring it into my uh, model uh, training right so and for the uh, categorical variables i have uh, where it is yeah so i have just uh, given it a corresponding number because our model understand the strings so it has to be a number so i have just given it the number correspondingly uh, by checking out their unique values so here you can see in the cabin i have many unique values these three doors like there are many so i can't just 
do uh, encoding uh, for all of them so that's why i'm just ignoring it as it's not a useful predictor in our uh, problem okay so uh, into target and feature basically making x and y then uh, splitting it into train test split and then uh, i'm using ubml it's my personal library uh, which automate like uh, training all the model and report their metric score so i am getting the best model as svm classifier uh, uh, which is giving me 78 percent accuracy on the testing data and the 79 percent accuracy on the uh, training data and so i am just uh, like using this uh, svm model uh, in order to uh, make prediction on the testing data which is provided in the test.csv and uh, if you want to uh, like uh, search about this ubml you can just go to this link documentation of it or you can just uh, go to my channel and just search for it ubml and you will get all uh, the corresponding uh, videos about it right okay yeah so here it is like automating ml and you can just search about it and how you can uh, get this notebook this here notebook i will just give the link of it also but you can just go to the kegel.com and then search for where p1049 this is my username or just go to my uh, profile of kegel in the description and when you search for it you get this and then you have to go to the code and here you will get passenger transported or note prediction this is a, the exact notebook we are seeing here right so yeah let's proceed with further uh, so I'm just uh, creating that model, uh, model again SVM then uh, pre-processing the testing data which was in the test.csv I'm loading it doing the exact same uh, transformation which I have uh, done in the data pre-processing step uh, on the training data and then I am performing prediction on it right so this is my predictions and then I am uh, like creating a submission file which is creating a uh, data frame first with the passenger id column as they are requiring and then the transported column corresponded which is my prediction uh, yeah so here you are seeing this survived but like i have edited it and uh, like give the transported otherwise it will uh, give me the error let me just show you this was like uh, you can see here error because i was submitting it with the uh, survived keyword or the column but it is asking for the transported so you have to do the exact same thing as it is asking uh, i think i have downloaded it the submission file let me just okay i have deleted it somehow but i uh, just change here uh, transport it and you are good to go okay so then you will get the submission.csv and just upload it or like submit it into your competition and the leaderboard i am getting for this simple uh, starting of this is like this was the uh, submission.csv and 78 percent uh, accuracy i'm getting for the testing right so this was it for the uh, uh, second day of uh, 100 days of kegel and i'll meet you in the next day thanks for watching